Hi guys, this is Rosa Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about books. I hope that you guys are doing well. Today I'm here with all the books that I've read on the month of September and I'm quite happy. I've read a lot of books. I have a lot of good recommendations for you and I'm just excited. Before we get started with the books, let me thank Javi for sponsoring today's video. So Javi is this company that makes this amazing concentrated coffee. What I love about the company is that it's eco-friendly, they don't use any GMO products, and also they are gluten-free, which is something that I really need for my daily diet. And this coffee is amazing. So you get this little bottle and you have all this concentrate coffee and it just makes it so easy to make a refreshing cup of coffee on the go without having to brew any coffee and I especially like it for my cold drinks. I went ahead and made myself a pumpkin vanilla iced coffee that is just so good so easy to make i just put some ice on the cup a little bit of milk a little bit of pumpkin spice um, creamer and just a tiny bit of vanilla in there as well and of course my concentrated coffee and it's just so good and so refreshing and if you want to be a little bit fancier we can add some whipped cream and some sauce in there but i'm gonna diet so i'm not gonna do the whipped cream but this coffee is just amazing they also went ahead and sent me these metal straws and they're just so cute i have one straight one and the one that i'm using right now which is the bended uh, one and i also love that they included like the little brush to clean your stress so now let's talk about the books that i read for the month of september so i wanted to end up my summer with some romance and some really nice refreshing books and then i moved into the more like atmospheric spooky type of book so let's talk about the romance one so the first one that i have here is the Anne honeymooners and this is by christina loring now i heard about this book it was all over youtube and tiktok and so i wanted to give it a go and it's not my cup of tea it's not the type of books that i gravitate towards because i just don't enjoy romance as much as mystery or historical fiction but i thought it would be a fun read for summer it actually ended up being really good and one of my favorite books for this month so on the book we're following olive and ethan and they are the only two uh, people that do not get sick on this wedding that they went to so it was olive's sister's wedding and ethan's brother's wedding because the sister the the bride actually won the honeymoon on a contest um they didn't want to lose it and so because they're twin sisters she pretended to be her sister and went into this um honeymoon and ethan also went because he had the same last name as his brother and so they were both already on the reservation so that's how they both ended up going of course they didn't like each other prior to going on to the trip and they were kind of forced to do things as a couple so the people at the hotel or the resort don't suspect that they are not the honeymooners and it was kind of quite funny actually and it was just so refreshing and so fun to read so i highly recommend this book if you're looking for something light and just something to put you on happy spirit <laughs> and happy vacation mode i think i'll definitely reread this book in the middle of winter just to like take me back <laughs> to the beach and to Maui. And the next one that I read, and I did a vlog about this as well, this is Beach Read, and this is by Emily Henry. And so on this book, we are following these two writers who are both experiencing, experiencing some sort of uh, writer's block due to different things that are happening in their lives. And they both end up going to this lake house and they happen to be neighbors. And somehow they connect by going to this reading group together. Then they come kind of don't like each other also and they challenge each other to write each other's gender to like switch it up and I just thought it was so beautiful like at the beginning I didn't see it like how are they ever gonna like each other if they if they hate each other so much but then you see the relationship building and it was just so cute what I also love about the book is the backstory um, so you can kind of learn a little bit about 
the family issues that she's having. Her father passed away and she discovers that he had a second life. And so she's kind of trying to understand um, his reasons and trying to figure out why he did that. So I really, really enjoyed that aspect of the book. This book made me cry so much. Next book that I read and that I highly, highly, highly recommend it's It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. Now this book just blew my mind. Like I did not like the first I want to say 50 pages of this book I was ready to DNF the book because I just didn't see how a relationship could build from these two characters like she would always put her, herself last and he was this egocentric guy and somehow life puts them together <laughs> and they start going out and so I just did not like that relationship at all kind of like no expectations um don't count on me type of thing like yes like we're together but we're not really and so i didn't like that and i didn't like how she didn't respect herself but then this kind of turned around because um you kind of start learning from her past like what she experienced where she comes from she comes from a family that had a lot of like domestic abuse and he also comes from a different background where he was a little bit neglected and so you kind of start liking him and you kind of start liking them both and you do want them to end up together and I think that's all I'm gonna say because I don't want to spoil anything for you but this book was so emotional for me and it kind of made me think a lot about like the reality of things like making hard decisions it touches some aspects that are not really talk about that much in terms of like domestic violence and why you excuse those things not that it should be excused but then you kind of start learning what the mentality is and how much like the way your race has to do with what your point of tolerance is and so again it was an amazing read for me it made me cry so much like in in a way that i couldn't even describe why i was crying like i was so connected to the characters so the next book that i read is the red white and royal blue and this book is by casey mackinston on this book we're following the prince of england falling in love with the son of the president of the united states and i really like this book there were a lot of things that were different on this book like the president of the united states was a woman for once i love that i love how out outspoken they were about the relationship like breaking barriers of course because it was something that they couldn't like tell the world and they were kind of hiding it until they got to their breaking point and you know this is who we are this is what we want to do and so i really love that aspect of defending who you are defending your love and just um you know being a role model on that sense what kind of didn't like about the book is like i didn't get that emotion uh, emotional connection to their love like i didn't feel it myself so that's something that uh, compared to the other books i always feel like excited and i can see how they have those butterflies um because they're falling in love but with this one it was kind of a little bit too fast for me kind of like i hate you one day and I realize I have feelings for you the next day type of thing but I did like it I it was really fun like summer read refreshing love again a lot of the aspects of this book that I can see how um, why it was so popular and why it was also very important to read I do like the courage um, message in there so just be who you are don't be afraid of show the world and tell the world um, who you are and who you want to love so I love that so another book that I really loved um, this month was The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave. So on this book, we're following Hannah and Owen. So Owen is the husband and he basically goes missing and he leaves her a note that says protect her. And by her, he means his daughter, um, Bailey. And so there's a lot of things that I love about the book. Number one, I like the mystery of trying to find out what happened to him. This was not so much of like a thriller type of mystery, but more of like 
trying to discover and play detective and see what happens and she was trying to rebuild all his steps and trying to learn about his past um, to kind of figure out where he could be right now and then she discovers a little secrets that he had um, from her and he had kept from her and she's also trying to build this relationship with his daughter who uh didn't like her one bit and now she is responsible to like take care of her um and i love the ending um i wish it could have been a little bit different just because i related with them so much but i also love when books have unexpected endings i think it just makes the whole thing so much better because then you're like thinking about it forever and ever. Another thing that I really love about this book is the location. So this book is set on South Salido, California, which is literally like my dream place <laughs> to live. Uh, hopefully when I retire, <laughs> I can live there. But it's this beautiful um, place by the San Francisco Bay. And yeah, so I really love how they describe the area and it's just perfect for me. So I love it. So another book on that kind of similar uh, sense is Local Woman Missing. So this is by Mary Kubica. This one actually just finished yesterday. And this book also has those elements of like trying to discover what happened and the plot twist. Actually, it had like multiple plot twists, which also like kept me super engaged to this book. On this book, we're following two different timelines. One is 11 years ago and one is now. And then for the 11 years ago, we're following Kate and Meredith. Meredith being the woman who disappeared and Kate being the friend trying to find out what happened to her. And then on the now, we're following Delilah, who is the daughter who escaped and that comes back to the town and then we're also following leo who is the brother of delilah and so there's a lot of the elements on this book that i really like like you're trying to figure out what happened 11 years ago but then you have the perspective of now and when you're trying to join things together you are always thinking oh this is what happened or no this is what happened so it was just it was just so good i highly recommend this book to me it was a five star and yeah so this is definitely my type of book these next two books were just so good they're also thrillers i listened to those on audiobook and i literally finished the books within the day because they were just so good <laughs> so the first one is behind closed doors by b.a paris and so on this book we're following grace and jack and they seem to have the perfect marriage um and so basically she's always skinny her house is always beautiful um and they just seem to have it all he is this lawyer that has never lost the case so he's really like important and she doesn't have the need to work or anything like that but then her friends start to wonder why she never answers the phone why she's so skinny even though she always like makes the perfect meals and why are they so perfect it seems a little bit unreal but then behind closed doors you start to realize what what is happening and it also plays with the timelines like um, what is happening now and what is happening when they first got married and it's just so good you kind of start going from end to end and start building the momentum and get to find out you know the mystery behind this marriage and it's just so good so good you have to read that book um highly highly recommend the other one that i read is little secrets by jennifer hillier on this book we're following marrying and derek and they also have um the perfect marriage uh, until their son disappear and then so they start going to this therapy about you know like couples and dealing with grief and so they meet other parents so i really like that aspect it talks it talks a lot about like grief and losing your child and not knowing uh where he could be you know like having that uncertainty of marrying hires a private investigator after you know the case of her son goes cold and the police kind of stops looking for him until they find a new lead so she hires the, pri the private investigator to help her you know continue the search for her son but what the private investigator discovers is that her husband is having an affair 
with this young woman so she kind of obsessed after the woman and she kind of wants to know everything about her and also there is a lot of like secrets that you discover along the way and it's just really it's really good you kind of start doubting of this person of the husband does he has anything to do with the song or maybe the mistress had anything to do with the song disappearing it's just a lot and it was just really good i couldn't stop the audiobook like i had to listen to it all day and you know that's always a good sign so then i have some dark academia as well that i read this month going into more of my mysteries um so i think for october i'm going to be reading a lot more dark academia i really enjoyed this book so this is for your own good by samantha downing and so on this book we are following this professor who really really wants his students to do well but he's kind of a little bit too obsessed with his students like he just wants to be involved he created this fake social media account pretending he was a teenage girl so he can be involved on the things that the students are doing and you know like he he will know like if you didn't do your homework it's because you were doing this so it was kind of creepy in that sense also on the school there is this series of like poisoning um happening and some people end up dead and so we're trying to figure out who is doing this you suspect of the professor then you suspect of someone else then you kind of start suspecting of some of the students love the writing style on this book it was very sarcastic it made me laugh a lot even though it's supposed to be really dark and somehow it makes you laugh a little bit the end like then you, you it gives it, it leaves you wondering and i really love when books leave you wondering and wanting more like i just really love that then the next few books that i have here they're more atmospheric and i think these books definitely put me on the fall mood and i just really love them so the first one that i have is spells travel this is by pc cast and kristen cast so this book was so magical i loved it so on this book we're following two twin sisters and they're learning how to be witches they're learning about spells and their mom is teaching them how to be the gatekeepers of the underworld and it's just so magical i love the potions you know like I can definitely picture them like doing the whole potion and rituals and it was just so magical um also there's a talking cat on this book which i love so their mom is like teaching them um all she knows about the magic and you kind of learn a little bit about the history of the family uh, but then the mom gets murdered and they don't feel like they're ready they kind of have to be ready to figure out what is happening what has happened to the mom because then there's a series of murderings happening as well in the woods and so then they have to like fight with these other creatures and again discover their magic there's a lot of um also like young love on this book like it has some high school drama <laughs> which i thought it was really fun so this book was super entertaining definitely put me on that fall um mood it made me want to decorate like my whole house and just love it love the little kitty in there so this was one that again i highly recommend if you want to get on that halloween spirit um then i read lost in the neverwoods and this is by aiden thomas and this is one that i actually started back in august and i finally finished it um so this is a retelling of peter pan um so on this book we're actually following wendy she does has no recollection of what has happened to her missing brothers and when other children go missing um she's kind of forced to remember all the things that she kind of wants to leave behind so then she has to go into the woods and face her fears just to remember and try to solve the mystery of the missing children um they had a little bit of like dark moments which i really like but also for some some times in this book it was a little bit repetitive so it felt a little bit long and i read a small favors by erin craig i love this book so much like this is everything i wanted i think going into fall and so on this book we're following ellery and she lives in this small little village where the men usually go once or twice a year to the nearest town to gather supplies for the whole town so they can like pass the winter 
or past you know like the season and so one time they don't come back and so they're trying to find out what happened so there's this mystery of something hiding in the woods and they kind of have to just like live with what they have also there's a lot of things that are happening in the town that are really weird things just magically appear like if you really wish for something it just kind of comes true kind of like these favors that these creatures on the woods are giving are giving to you but then in return you know there's all these other bad things happening so Ellery is trying to figure out the mystery behind these creatures if they're real and what is happening in this town I really love this book like I felt like I was it was me on the town living there and that's everything I wanted and it was just so good so I highly recommend this book so then I read the 10,000 doors of January and this is by Alex Harrow and I just love the cover on this book so on this book we're following January she goes to live with her uncle after like her father goes missing and then on the uncle's house she discovers all these different like artifacts that he has and there is this book called the ten thousand doors and then she really gets into this book but then when you go in the book she's actually living on the different doors that are within the book just really like the whole concept of books within books and then magic doors and secrets and it was just so much fun to read and discover like every door was a different world and there's also like a window to the past so she kind of starts learning about um, like her mom's history her dad's history and then kind of maybe discovering what has happened to her dad and then another one that i finished is the lost apothecary by sarah pennett so on this book we're following three ladies so one is eliza carolyn and nella carolyn is on the present and so she is a historian and she's having some problems with her marriage so she decides to take some time apart and just get more into her work so she goes to london to do some you know like a research she finds this little apothecary bottle with a little symbol and so she goes to this library and she's trying to get information about uh, you know what was that used for and then you're also following Nella, who is, you know, like a hundred years ago. Is it a hundred or three hundred years ago? Um, she is um, the lady who used to make these potions. And so she will make potions for women that needed to take revenge to like their husbands or anybody who did them wrong. And we're also following Eliza and she is this 12 year old girl who really wants to learn everything about like making this potion. So she she's like Nella's apprentice. And so what I love about the book is like you really get into each one of these characters and learning the reasons behind them. Like why does Nella create these potions? Why does Eliza want to use the potions? And why does Carolyn like needs to take some time to herself? And so for Carolyn learning about the two other ladies and like discovering all these murders, like it kind of gives her the confidence to deal with her own like current issues of building these um like putting together the puzzle pieces and it was just so much fun and two books that i am currently reading right now that i didn't get to finish is under the whispering door i just started with this book yesterday and it's just i can't wait to i'm only on page like 50 right now so on this book we're following wallace and so he is this man who is very into like work work life work is everything to him and he's really mean <laughs> to his employees and then he suddenly dies and after he dies he realizes it's like all the things that he was missing in life and this book is by tj clone who is the author of the house on the surveillance sea which i loved so i just can't wait to finish this book and another one that i kind of left halfway through is the witch's heart by genevieve uh, gorniches so this is one that i am also currently reading and so on this book we're following this witch and she was kind of cursed uh, by the gods because she did not want to listen to what the gods want her to do she has these powers and um, the gods kind of wanted to use her powers for their own benefit which she refused and she was literally burnt alive like three times which is 
sounds painful so then she falls in love and she has kids but of course her kids are um curse and so they are these weird kids that i think they're just so adorable and so cute so i can't wait to see what else happens on this book so two that i'm really really enjoying right now and so many more that i still want to get to so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you have read any of these books that i mentioned or which books you recommend for me to read next i want to thank you so much for watching again i want to thank javi for my delicious coffee i will leave a link down below to their website and i'll see you guys on the next one bye bye